Let's bring you all the details coming in from the United States. There's nearly 60,000 deaths and a million confirmed cases. The coronavirus numbers in America are rising. So is the criticism for Donald Trump's response to the crisis. Donald Trump's bid to constantly fall back on rhetoric, either upon being asked questions or giving statements, has backfired. U.S. citizens appear to be losing faith in Trump's leadership. According to a Reuters Ipsos poll, almost everyone rejected Trump's remark that COVID-19 may be treated by injecting infected people with bleach or other disinfectants. Disinfectant, where it knocks it out in a minute, one minute. And is there a way we can do something like that uh, by injection inside or, or almost a cleaning? Because you see it gets on the lungs and it does a tremendous number of lungs, so it'd be interesting to check that. So that you're going to have to use medical doctors with. But it sounds, it sounds interesting to me. The April 27th, 28th public poll found that fewer than half of all adults in the U.S. 47% said they were very or somewhat likely to follow recommendations Trump makes about the virus. More specifically, 98% of Americans said they would not try to inject themselves with bleach or other disinfectants. With bipartisan response from Democrats and Republicans, that is a near unanimous rejection of the bizarre idea that Trump floated at a time of widespread anxiety about the virus. 43% of Americans, however, said they approve of his overall job performance and the same number also approve of his handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. Right after Trump made those remarks, medical experts immediately condemned the suggestion and the makers of disinfectants warned the public against ingesting them. Trump later tried to portray his remarks as sarcasm. The results are clear. Trump became the self-proclaimed daily spokesman for the nation's coronavirus response. But the numbers show Americans are losing trust and are increasingly not looking at him as a reliable source of information on the pandemic. Now, the findings also raise questions about the value of Trump's daily briefings, which are little more than televised events that often paint a sunny picture of the nation's pandemic response, which many say is in sharp contrast to the grim reality on the ground. While the briefings are the White House's main vehicle for getting information to the public, they frequently become a tool for the president to lash out at journalists and critics of the administration. This last week, after drawing criticism over his bleached suggestion, Trump tweeted that he would no longer be conducting daily press conferences on the coronavirus, but he continues to do so.